Hi everyone. Just checking in, saying hi, let everybody know I'm still alive and doing okay. Um, I've been having good days and bad days, like everyone else. Um, trying hard not to weigh myself, honestly, because I really don't care at this point. Um, it has been a rough journey. Uh, I haven't really been able to find a lot that I want to eat. I feel like I'm starving to death. Um, but I'm making it. I live with one of these pretty much by my side all the time. And I have my Dasani water with my lemon juice. It's my go-to. It makes me thirsty, so I want to drink more. Um, I don't know what it is about the lemon juice, but I guess it's the citrus citric acids that really makes me want to drink a lot more and I found it really helps um, I don't add no sugar to it but some people can add a little stevia I guess that could help I guess it couldn't hurt um, I try to just take one day at a time and today I did something that I have never been able to do before I put on my husband lovely jacket and it's an extra large and I don't think I've ever fit in an extra large ever it's still tight on me but at the same time I'm just shocked it fit at all I didn't think my arms would even go in the armholes never mind um, my butt being able to zip it up or my breast for that matter but I figured I lost quite a bit of that so it couldn't hurt to try and to my surprise it fit completely and i just wanted to show y'all um i guess the new me it was pretty cool so here goes i'm gonna move this back point it that way and stand up so everyone can see it's the extra large and yep, my butt still pokes out really far. But it fits, it's comfy, it's snug, but it works. I'd like to get rid of these little love handles right here, squish that on in. And these hips could definitely do for a trim. But I'm happy with where I'm at so far. Um, I guess it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Um, I must admit, I didn't think that I would lose weight as fast as I am, being that I've been overweight all my life. But, oh my God, it feels so good to just be able to do little things that um, a lot of people wouldn't even think about. Like, when I get in the bathtub, I can put a fist on either side of me now. Um, where before, when I got in... Half the water got out. <laughs> um, little things like that really have made a difference. I got in the van for the first time in a while. And I actually lowered the steering wheel all the way down. And I wasn't afraid it was going to hit my stomach. I didn't even think about it. Usually I leave it up or at least halfway up. Because the lower half of my stomach is so big that it used to hit it. And it don't anymore and it's it's been a blessing to say the least yes I'm hungry yes I could really go for just a huge chunk of any kind of meat possible right now um, I don't really want chips I don't want snack food I want meat, and I, I want like a piece of steak or a piece of chicken or even um, some grilled salmon sounds good right now. Every piece of meat I think about sounds really good right now. Uh, especially being that um, I was never really a meat eater. It's, it's kind of weird. But at the same time, I'm glad that I want the meat more than I want anything else. Um, I have had a few little issues. Like I went to the store today and I was walking around. 
and I've seen all these lovely little goodies that I can't have like a little Debbie snack cake and I thought no I'm going to walk away from this aisle because if I buy that for the kids I'm gonna want one so I didn't buy them at all and to me it's a small victory but I'm so glad that it wasn't a hard victory um, it was a lot easier to walk away from it knowing that I just can't have that anymore and it's not going to you know make or break me to buy it or not buy it where before if I'd have tried to leave that store without what I wanted I would have been in a bad mood all day but instead being able to say no and walk away actually it made me really excited and happy that I did that and that um, when I go home I know that I made good choices um, I went and got some peanut butter today uh, it's something that's on my list that it says I can have and I looked at all different kinds of labels before I bought one and it's funny because I found Peter Pan's um, honey peanut butter was better for me and had better um, nutritional value than any other peanut butter I looked at on the shelf including some of the ones that said natural peanut butter nothing added no sugars added and I was like how is that even possible that peanut butter with honey would be better for you than an all natural peanut butter with no sugars added I, I didn't really understand that but at the same time I like the honey peanut butter so I really don't care I couldn't eat but like a teaspoon of it it was I think or no a tablespoon um, the amount serving was two tablespoons and I measured out two tablespoons in a little bitty glass bowl about that big and I just sat and tasted it and tasted it and tasted it I got about about halfway done with it and I started playing with it and that's when I was like oh, I'm done I don't want this no more I'm finished I'm full and it was good it was a good little snack I think is what I'll call it because <laughs> it was about four grams of protein in it so um, I really try hard not to look too much at some of the um, nutritional values but I find myself doing it more and more and to me that's another small victory um, that I'm really concerned with what I'm putting in my body and I'm trying hard not to eat the wrong stuff I must admit yesterday I had um, cottage cheese and it was much better yesterday than it has been in a couple days and I had some strawberry cheesecake uh, Greek Danon yogurt and it's like a guilty pleasure of mine I don't know why I think it's a guilty pleasure but for me it is because it is still sweet and to me I almost feel like I'm cheating but I'm not and you know I have seen those commercials where people say that kind of stuff and I thought yeah right it probably tastes like dirt and then I get them and they're so good and I'm like why did I ever buy the other kinds I like them better than I like any other yogurt I've ever bought uh, besides maybe the blueberry fruit on the bottom <laughs> but I can't have that so having this one has really helped um, I don't think I'll probably ever go back to getting any of that sweet junk I used to get before just because I know I can have something very similar and be satisfied and actually be eating healthy and to me that is just the most amazing part of this journey is finding stuff that I can eat and not um, really worrying as much as I thought I would about it I almost just kind of know now what I can and can't have and if I'm not sure hey I'll look it up online I mean that's what the internet's for right and if I find a lot of contradicting answers um, then I try to look for one that's more healthy oriented um, I like going to a lot of the doctor websites and looking on 
um, like Dr. Oz and stuff like that, and just looking and seeing what they have. But at the same time, I really don't pay much attention to them because I just don't feel they're as factual as some of the other um, websites I've found. Um, it's, it's hit and miss when you're looking online for anything on whether it's correct. But at the same time, um, a lot of stuff that I find online uh, on certain uh, websites is really helpful. And I love looking through the bariatric pages because I find so many recipes and things that I can try. And I just... I think I'm going to be able to do this. I, I know I'm going to be able to do this. Uh, I went walking with my husband the other day and we had such a blast just trying to stand up in that icy, slick, melted snow stuff. I don't know what you quite call it. It was like trying to walk on sleep. <laughs> it wasn't slushy. It was hard, but underneath the hard was powdered snow. So you, you, crunch, you step, you crunch, you fall into the <laughs> snow. And I was heavier, and I, I thought, oh, I'll just walk in his footprints. But because I'm heavier than him, I was sinking further into the snow. And I was like, ugh. But um, we made it. It was an hour and a half walk. It was a lot of fun. I was really, really tired afterwards. Um, we got to the top of the hill, this big hill, and I did take a little break because I was exhausted. It was the longest walk I've had since my surgery. And, you know, it's one thing when you're working and you're moving a little here and a little there, but to really just pound it out and keep a steady, fast pace and walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. It's harder than I thought it would be. And my husband, when we got to the top, I sat down for a minute at the bench um, that they have for a rest spot. And then I got back up. And I walked on around, and I didn't stop the rest of the way, all the way back around. Oh, excuse me. It's been a morning. But, um, I must admit that when I stood back up, I didn't sit down, but for like a half minute. And I said, nope, I don't even want to sit down. I want to, I want to finish. I want to get this done. I'm tired, but I just want to get done and get back to the van so we can go. I was cold. Um, and for him, as soon as we got back to the van, he didn't really say much. And then I thought, you know, he was disappointed because I sat down. Um, but when we got home, he just wanted to tell me how proud he was of me for not really taking a break and for pushing through, even though I was tired and, and was like, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to do this. I can do this. And actually making it all the way um, usually during summertime excuse me usually during the summertime by the time I get to that top of that hill I am so exhausted and so red in the face I can hardly breathe I'm wheezing I have to use an inhaler I didn't have to use an inhaler at all and that was my biggest shock um, I didn't even take my inhaler because I didn't even think about it. And I'm glad because I didn't have to use it. Oh, I can't quit yawning this morning, afternoon, whatever you want to call it. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but I still feel like it's morning, like I just woke up. But anyways, um, I just want to check in with everybody, let you know I'm doing well. I'm still alive. I'm still kicking it. Um... I really don't want to rush on worrying about the weight loss as much as getting down how to eat right. Some people do. I do weigh myself. Oh, I just can't quit yawning. I do weigh myself from time to time. And I'm, I don't want to become one of them people that just stick so hard and worry so much about um, weighing myself that 
I beat myself up all the time because I know this is a process and it's a journey and I just weigh myself sometimes to make sure that I am on track and I am doing okay uh, I really just like I said wanted to check in with everybody it's been a long three weeks but it's been a good one and I can't complain I'm making it and I'm proud of myself for that but um, y'all have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this video and God bless.